In this video, let's see how we can download and install Ubuntu inside the VirtualBox. Ubuntu, it is the most popular Linux distribution that you can use for programming and learning more about Linux operating system. In your browser, search download Ubuntu. The very first link, it will be from the official Ubuntu website. Now click on get Ubuntu. Next select download Ubuntu desktop. Now scroll down and download this Ubuntu long term support version. Now press on the download button and this will download the latest Ubuntu ISO file. Now we need to download the virtual box. In your browser search download virtual box. The very first link it will be from the virtual box. Now click on download oracle virtual box. Next click on windows hosts option. This has started downloading the virtual box. Next go to the location where your virtual box is downloaded and double click on it. This will launch the installer. Select next again press next and click on yes button. Now click on install button. The installation is pretty simple. Now make sure you select this start oracle VM and click on finish button. Now we have successfully installed VirtualBox in our Windows machine. Now we will be creating a new Ubuntu virtual machine. In your VirtualBox press on the new button. Now you can give any name to this virtual machine. I will be calling it Ubuntu. Now in the type make sure you select Linux and in the version select Ubuntu 64 bit. Next select hardware. I will be allocating around 10 GB of my RAM to this virtual machine and I will allocate 7 processors to it. Next select the hard disk. Now will be allocating around 20 GB of my hard disk to this virtual machine. Now leave everything as it is and click on the finish button. Now select the Ubuntu and click on the settings button. Go to display and make sure you give the maximum video memory to this virtual machine. Next go to storage. Click on the empty option. Now on the right side click on this disk icon and select choose a disk file. Click on it. Now from here select the Ubuntu ISO that we downloaded earlier and press on open button. Next press OK button. Next select Ubuntu and press the start button. Now we will be installing Ubuntu in our virtual box. Press the down key on your keyboard and select Ubuntu safe graphics. Hit enter. Now select your language and click on install Ubuntu. Select your keyboard language and layout and press on the continue button. Now make sure you select normal installation and disable this download updates while installing Ubuntu and press on the continue button. Select erase disk and install Ubuntu and click on install now. Press continue. Select your location and click continue. Now you have to provide a name and set a password for this user. Again verify the same password and make sure you check this require my password to login and click on continue. Now this has started installing Ubuntu in our virtual box. This will take some time so be patient. Now click on restart now. 
now log in to the account and provide the password that we created earlier there we go now we have successfully installed ubuntu in our virtual box now let's see how we can maximize this screen go to devices and click on insert guest editions cd image click on it this will create a disk icon on the left side of your desktop select it now this will launch a window, right click on the window and click on open in terminal. This will launch your terminal, now type ls command. This will list all the files that are in this directory. Now we have to execute this file, vbox linux editions dot run, type sudo dot forward slash and select this file, right click on the terminal and click on copy. Again right click on your terminal, this time select paste option. Hit the enter key on your keyboard. Now provide the password that we created earlier. Then hit enter. Now we have executed the file. Next we can close all the windows. Now close all the windows. Now we have to restart our system. Go to power and click on restart. Select restart and this will restart our Ubuntu machine. Now log into your account. This time if you go to view and click on full screen mode, you will see our system it is full screen now. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.